G'day guys, uh, this is a quick little video that's going to teach you how to calculate the surface area and the volume of a pond. Knowing what your surface area is going to be helpful uh, if you want to add a skimmer onto the pond. While volume's useful for calculating what size pump you're going to need um, and obviously any water treatments that you're going to put into the pond it's good to know what volume you've got so let's start off nice and simple if you've got a rectangle or a square your surface area is just going to be your length times your width with the regular shapes it gets a little bit more tricky um, you still obviously need your length and your width what I like to do is draw a little mud map and have the length and the width on those widest points and put the pond in the rectangle or square and then shade the area around and try and work out what sort of roughly what percentage of area the pond is um, and then my calculations just the length times the width times whatever decimal in this case it was 70 percent so it was 0 0.7 and you can see how this method works for really weird shaped ponds circular ponds are another easy one it's just pi which is 3.4 three, sorry 3.14 times radius times the radius and the radius is half of the diameter which is your widest point. Now that you've got the surface area, calculating the volume is easy. All we need is the depth. So if the pond is a constant depth, it's very easy. It's just surface area times depth. When we've got, you know, irregular ponds and different shelf heights and depths, it gets a little bit trickier so there we just take the average depth you know have a have a good guess anyway that's about it um, hopefully that helps you so that now you can calculate the surface area and the volume of your pond thanks for watching uh, subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one